In a faraway kingdom, there lived a powerful dragon named Dracon. He was feared by all the people, and his fiery breath scorched the land. The king and queen of the kingdom had a beautiful daughter, Princess Amara, who was known for her intelligence and beauty. Many princes from neighboring kingdoms came to woo her, but none were able to win her heart. One day, a brave prince named Arryn arrived in the kingdom. He was known for his courage and his skills in battle. Arryn saw Princess Amara and fell in love with her at first sight. He asked the king for permission to court her, and the king agreed, but under one condition. Arryn had to defeat the dragon Dracon. Arryn accepted the challenge and set out to find the dragon. He searched far and wide until he came across a group of villagers who told him about a monster that lived in a cave in the mountains. They warned him that it was almost impossible to defeat the monster, but Arryn was determined to save the princess. Arryn made his way to the cave and found the monster, a giant, hideous creature with razor-sharp claws and teeth. They fought a long and grueling battle, but Arryn emerged victorious. He had wounded the monster and managed to escape the cave alive. As he was making his way back to the kingdom, he saw a trail of smoke rising from the castle. He knew that Dracon had attacked, and he rushed to the castle to find the dragon wreaking havoc. The princess was trapped in the castle, and the king and queen were nowhere to be found. Arryn drew his sword and charged at the dragon. They fought fiercely, and Arryn was able to wound Dracon with his sword. The dragon let out an ear-splitting roar, but before he could attack again, Arryn plunged his sword into Dracon's heart, and the dragon fell to the ground, defeated. The kingdom was saved, and the princess was grateful to Arryn for his bravery. She realized that he was the only prince who had proven worthy of her love, and they were married in a grand ceremony. From that day on, Arryn was known as the Dragon Slayer, and he and Princess Amara lived happily ever after.